Hello and welcome to Entrance, a hypnotic meditation library which acts as a gateway to help you discover your deeper self. These recordings are of a hypnotic nature and should not be used while driving a car or operating machinery. Please use common sense and only use the appropriate Entrance volumes in appropriate places and environments to ensure safety. Please seek professional advice if you are receiving treatment for any clinical diagnosed disorder before using Entrance. Before we begin this journey deep into your subconscious mind, I want you to know that self-hypnosis, like all hypnosis, is voluntary. And if for any reason you want or need to become wide awake, you can do so easily and calmly at any point. Before we begin, you may wish to loosen any tight clothing or footwear. Entrance is produced to be listened to on stereo headphones. The tones library may be used on loudspeakers in a quiet environment. You may wish to close your eyes for each session or fix a daydream stare on a comfortable spot in front of you until your eyes are closing, whichever is the most comfortable for you to relax. Sit back and relax. Very soon, you are going to be so relaxed. More relaxed than you have ever known yourself to be. Beautifully relaxed. Now, imagine you are outside, walking through a wonderful magical forest. It's twilight. The sky is a beautiful deep blue. The moon is full and the stars are bright. Imagine now finding a wonderfully comfortable place to sit down against a padded rock or maybe a soft tree somewhere nice and comfortable. Now, shortly, I'm going to have you imagine there's a beautiful, relaxing, bright and brilliant light floating right above the top of your head. As this light lowers down, I want you to just simply imagine that it relaxes each and every muscle in your body, taking you into a deep and relaxed state of calmness, starting with the very top of your head and moving just to the inside of your scalp. This light is so calm. Feel its warming effect on your head now. It goes down past your forehead and crosses your eyebrows. Your eyes begin to slowly close if they haven't already. The light sinks lower and fills all of your vision with a gold or blue color. It makes the little wrinkles at the side of your eyes feel like they are smoothing out past the bridge of your nose, allowing you to breathe deeply and freely, past your mouth and running down your neck. The whole of your head is filled with bright white light now, running slowly past your shoulders and down the top of your arms, making them feel very heavy, but light at the same time. As the white light moves on down, your whole upper body is now beginning to feel like one. Past your solar plexus 
and past your middle, filling up backwards like an upside down bottle filling up with milk. Your weight sinks down into the centre now and you are beginning to feel very, very relaxed. The light rate slows down a little and slowly, like a cascading fountain, the light pours past your hips, down your legs, through your knees and begins to fill up your feet. Concentrate on your big toes. Feel the light move into your toe and now begin to back up. It fills up like a warm liquid filling a hot water bottle. Up past the ankles, through the shins, moving past your thighs and over your hips, through the middle of your body, rushing past and around your heart, making you feel warm, loved, calm, and very, very relaxed. The light reaches your shoulders and flows down your arms, filling each of your fingers one at a time. Concentrate on any part of your body which is not relaxed and do your best to make that part of you feel soft and comfortable. Past the wrists, your awareness drops now as it passes the pelvic region. Over the elbow, back up to the neck, past the chin. Now feel as the warm, relaxing white light fills the whole of your head, making you feel very, very relaxed. You are now in a wonderful state of peace and tranquility. No matter how relaxed you are now, as I count back, from 10, you will be capable of relaxing even more. Twice, three, or four times as much, at least, with every number you manage to recognize now. By the time I get down to one, your willingness to be motivated and inspired will be as high as the next number you hear. 10. Continue to hear the sound of my voice now to make you relaxed. 9. Your conscious mind is taking a break and relaxing fully. 8. We're preparing to present to your unconscious mind some ideas which you have helped choose by listening to this recording. 7. A deeper breath in with each number you hear now. Six. Any negative emotion is ready to drain from you now as you go deeper into this wonderful and enlightening positive state of mind. Five. Any guilt or self-doubt which is left in small pockets in your body hiding from the enlightening positivity begin to collect and drop down to your toes, ready to discharge out into the earth. Four, feel the warm light completely taking over your body now and you are feeling at one with yourself. Three, deeper down now, down into the ultra depths where your conscious mind gets the calmness and rest it so deserves. Two, calmness like you haven't felt before. One.
I want you to imagine a time and a place when you were happy. A time when you were surrounded by your best friends and by your family. A time when you laughed spontaneously. A time when everybody that was with you was happy. Remember now. I want you to imagine a camping trip. You're hiking along a trail. The day is warm and comfortable. There is a light, cool breeze blowing across your face. The trees are tall and green. The smell of pine crosses your nostrils. You hear the birds chirp their love songs. You see the squirrels scamper up and down the trees. You hear the thunder of a waterfall up ahead. And as you round the bend, you see the waterfall. The mist carries a beautiful, vivid rainbow that brings a smile to your face. There is a large green meadow with many colorful flowers. You see the butterflies dance around the red, purple, and yellow flowers. You roll out a blanket. Some food that you prepared earlier is in your bag. The smell of good food fills your nostrils. As you sit down to eat, you feel the cushion of soft grass. As you sit there, you enjoy your meal. The food tastes good. The mood is light and joyful. You enjoy your own company here now. The sun warms you gently. After your meal, you go down to a nearby stream. You paddle in the cool water. It's refreshing. This is a peaceful, happy time for you. You are carefree. Remember being carefree now. After such joyous times in the mountain, you prepare for the evening. You watch the sun set over the valley and the sky is filled with various hues and lights, oranges, reds and purples. The scene brings a feeling of satisfaction, a feeling of happiness, a feeling of joy. See how little you need to be content?
And now, your conscious mind can drift anywhere pleasant it wishes, whilst your subconscious mind becomes absolutely wide awake. It listens, it hears, it understands. It believes my every safe, sensible suggestion and what it means. The subconscious mind knows. And because the subconscious mind knows, the conscious mind right now doesn't need to know. So it can either listen or not listen. You have awarenesses in your subconscious mind that you don't have in your conscious mind. You can remember everything that has ever happened with your subconscious mind. Any problems that the mind has created can indeed be solved by the same mind. Consciously, you can't remember much at all. Four things at a time. So you can forget it so easily. And we're forgetting certain things. You can remember other things. Forgetting what you can forget. Remembering what you can remember. It doesn't really matter if you temporarily forget. Because right now, you do not need to remember. Because your subconscious mind remembers. And knows everything that your conscious mind needs to know. You have the solutions to your problems already. Whilst there are many shades of grey, essentially they are all either dark or light. So, you can let your subconscious mind drift, not bothering to listen as your subconscious mind comes wide awake and listens and hears and understands and believes my safe, helpful suggestions and what it means and transfers those new beliefs to the conscious mind, the emotional mind, and the physical body, so that it can understand and believe, and act accordingly in a helpful and safe and beneficial way. And yet now you've become so deeply relaxed, that indeed every safe and helpful thing that I say what it means will seem so very deep into the subconscious part of your mind and will cause such a deep and lasting beneficial impression that no other person, no happening, and no event could ever change the positive and helpful suggestions that will be put into your subconscious mind. This will continue to happen to you more and more positively and more and more powerfully every day regardless of where you are and regardless of whatever else may be happening around you
Now, to help course the blood around your body, to help you relax, I want you to open and close your fingers. That's it. Open them and close them slowly, building up to a faster speed. Now, as they begin to ache just a little bit, make them open and close just so fast as you still feel comfortable. That's it. You can do this to relax anywhere. Open and close them for 30 seconds fast. And then stop and, and feel the now. relaxation. Do not Blood disturb your yourself hands. by picturing your and life as a whole now. Do not gather in your mind the many and varied troubles which have come to you in the past and will come again in the future. But consider with any present difficulty, what is there in this that is unbearable and beyond endurance? And you will be ashamed to admit it so then remind yourself that it is not the future or what has passed that upsets you, but always the present. And the power of this is much lessened if you take it in isolation. Imagine now, understand if you and will, call your mind back into line in a comfortable place that that where you cannot see stand the sky. up to something when taken As on. As you own. look up, the sky Flow is blue now, with lots of fluffy white clouds in various shapes. See them. And try to make out some images. The impediment to action. Remember again, every action. time as a child, what stands in the way. This game becomes the way. As you sit and look comfortably at the sky, you realize that you are able to make shapes with the clouds. They are your clouds, and you can make what you want. Go ahead and try. But first, for this exercise. Let's just keep it simple and make some letters. Firstly, let's make the letter A from the clouds. Now, reaching across the sky, like the fluffy trail comes jet plane. to be around people, I'd like you to make all my the letters of the alphabet and encourage the sky. Me. Use your A, and then move on in one long and comfortable motion through B and C. Andy. The clouds look With so ancient near. Greece. Socrates you want to reach out and to hold the knowledge in high esteem. Now let's move on with One e. day, an acquaintance then met the great philosopher and said, all the letters of the Do alphabet, you know what I just heard about your friend? In one swooping motion. Hold on a minute, Socrates you replied, know. that the further into Before the alphabet you go, anything, the I'd more like relaxed. you to pass a little and test. deeper you go. It's called the G. triple filter test. Then H. Triple filter. And I. That's right, Socrates continued. Then Before you J. talk to me about my friend, it might okay. be a good idea to take a moment to L. and filter what you're going to say. And M. That's why I call it the triple filter test. N. The first filter o. is truth. And P. Have you made absolutely sure that what you are about to tell me is true? No, the man said. Actually, I just heard about it and... All right, said Socrates. So you don't really know if it's true or not. Now let's try the second filter. The filter of goodness. Is what you are about to tell me about my friend something good? No, on the contrary. So... Socrates continued, you want to tell me something bad about him, but you're not certain it's true. You may still pass the test though, because there's one filter left, the filter of usefulness. Is what you want to tell me about my friend going to be useful to me? No, not really. Well, concluded Socrates, 
If what you want to tell me is neither true nor good, nor even useful, why tell it to me at all? And now I want you to imagine a shimmering, transparent capsule. A shimmering, transparent capsule, suspended by a silver thread somewhere in a timeless place. It's been suspended there since before time began. In this secret place where nobody ever goes, where nobody has ever yet been. And it's a strange thing that nobody knows who put it there. And even stranger that nobody knows from where or whence it came. And as you gaze upon this mystery, it begins to seem somehow familiar to you, for some reason you don't quite understand. As if you've seen it before somewhere, sometime. And then it gradually dawns on you that you know what it's for. Even though you don't know how you know, you just somehow realize that you can use the power of your mind to move inside it, simply by using the power of your thoughts to glide effortlessly into this place of total safety, where nothing can harm you, where you are protected from everything, even protected from time itself, whilst you're inside this magical capsule Nothing ever changes, because time simply stands still, so you can actually move through time, moving back, back through the years, as though there were no such thing as time, moving back to times past, maybe even back to times before your own lifetime even began, or perhaps moving forward through time, to a time yet to come. 
yet to be, simply by using the power of your mind, simply thinking where you want to be. And you can see without being seen, hear without being heard, and you can feel what you choose to feel when you observe these things. And all the time, you are absolutely safe in this magical capsule, a silvery capsule where you are protected from the world. And I can only wonder if you're going to find yourself moving back to a time past, perhaps, to make sense of something that you didn't quite understand from the first time around, or if you're going to move forward to sense how your life might be in a little while, if you don't make a change, or perhaps if you do make a change of some sort, maybe a specific change that you have perhaps already been thinking about, just allowing your subconscious, that powerful subconscious of yours, to sense the outcome. And of course, it's nobody's business but yours what you decide to do, where you decide to go. And maybe you'll decide to stay just where you are and enjoy the feeling of relaxation and calmness. Or perhaps allow yourself to journey to some imaginary place, a place created by the creativity of your imagination, where there might be castles and kings, or ancient walled cities high on a mountain that nobody has seen for centuries. Perhaps a mythical gilded palace in some oriental land, gently sloping hillsides which lead to tranquil lakes of gently flowing rivers, where there is just the slightest whisper of a breeze or a deep and mysterious canyons, with waterfalls thundering and roaring between glittering, multicolored walls of quartz and crystal. Waterfalls that create miniature rainbows that arch through the mist and spray in warm rays of a setting sun. Waterfalls that you can perhaps move behind to discover mystery worlds in the caves beyond. Maybe a world where everything is exactly as you want it to be, to make it absolutely perfect. Or perhaps you will find a world that is so different from the one we live in it's almost too difficult to understand. And perhaps too there will be people there, kind people, who will help you to easily achieve your every goal, your every wish. Or perhaps instead this world is a benign place, where you can discover how to realize your own goals. A place that actually works with you to allow your confidence to grow, day by day. A place where you feel you might almost move mountains if you needed to do so. A place where you can easily learn skills, discover strengths and resources you were not previously aware of. Strengths and resources that can persist and remain and stay with you wherever you might find yourself. But of course you may decide that you don't wish to travel anywhere in this magic capsule, deciding instead to search for a truth, or an answer to a problem perhaps, maybe searching deep, deep inside yourself, in this wonderful relaxed state that we call hypnosis, searching inside yourself and becoming aware of resources that you already have, strengths you already possess. And this could be an even more magical journey, as you go deeper and deeper now, allowing yourself to become aware of problems that you have solved successfully in the past, or maybe problems for which there was no solution then, and you could realize that your subconscious mind, which simply does not understand time, could still be trying to solve some of these problems from the past realizing in almost the very same instant that it can simply cease to do so because these things are from the past and can stay in the past 
because they are out of date now and it's safe to simply leave them back where they belong. And it may be that you become aware that you need to forgive yourself or somebody else perhaps. For these things happen back there, back then. And you will find it so easy to do so now so that you can just consciously let go of those things so that they no longer absorb energies. Now that your subconscious can accept that there is no longer any need to solve those problems. No longer any need to be concerned with these difficulties. So that those energies are now going to be available to you in your everyday life. And it could be that while you're cocooned in the safety of this magic capsule, that you'll find your mind drifting to a conflict with some other person at some time in your life. Maybe when you are small, or perhaps when you are not so small. But a conflict that looks so different now, so much less important. Now that you can observe it in safety and from a distance of time. And I can only wonder where your mind has been drifting while I've been talking. Or even if it has not drifted anywhere at all, but simply considered the possibilities presented to you. And whatever has happened or is happening now is absolutely the right thing for you. Absolutely the right thing for your mind to do. And now I'd like you to become aware of your presence inside that magic capsule. Suspended in total safety in some secret place by a silvery thread. Become aware of new resources within you and realize that at this very moment you are more in touch with that all-knowing subconscious mind of yours than you have ever been before. Now each of these ideas has made a vivid, deep and permanent impression on your subconscious mind. And each day in your daily life, you become more and more aware of the full, powerful and creative expression of these ideas.
It's time to come back to the present now, out of this deep relaxation. The subconscious mind will begin to transfer all the beneficial new learnings you've made to the conscious mind, the emotional mind, and the physical body. And as the unconscious mind now begins to start that transfer, I will begin to bring you back. In just a few moments, you're going to wake up, and I'm going to count from one to five. At the count of five, you're going to come back to the here and now, feeling wide awake, feeling wonderful in every way, feeling so much calmer than before. One, start to wake up and emerge from hypnosis. Two, feeling wonderful, awake in every way. Three, coming back to the here and now and sensing the room around you. Four, your eyes are beginning to open now as you wake. And five, eyes open, wide awake, feeling wonderful in every way. Thank you for using Entrance.